my work got real slow. So she's high risk, so I just volunteered and I wish I never I wish I'd have never done that because now things are really slow and it's it's hard to get back going. About what time did you um did you take that voluntary leave from work? It was August. 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 It was like the, right after the kids went back to school and the guys at work weren't re wearing masks and stuff and he was just and the cases started going up, you know, and uh, or we we had feared that they were. So it was about the middle of August. So what um, was it just a was it an official medical leave, or did you just say, "Hey, I just want to take off a little bit of time"? Well, it, it, like I said, it, it was voluntary. Um, yeah. Things got really slow, and um, it was pretty much go ahead and just take some time off, or you know, be laid off. So I went ahead and, and took some time off because I didn't want her to get it. I didn't want the grandbabies to get it because she watches the grandkids. And my mom. And yeah, yeah her mom is uh, up there in years and she's not in the best of health, so. Right. Um. And we, we, so we fell behind. We, yeah, that was August. We stayed current. You know, we were able to stay current with our uh, rent until All November. All the way up until November. You know, um, and so we, um, that applied for that HOPE program and one of the challenges uh, was I had brought it up to the uh, former landlord because this house has now been sold um, but the former landlord she uh, was afraid to take a check like from an agency they only wanted cash you know for the rent and so um, you know, she she just didn't want to take that money from the Hope Program. So this was a former landlord who did not want to take the Hope Program money. Right. She and she ended up selling the home to um, her next door neighbor, who you know he he had been her representative to come and get the rent from us um, in November, and I told him about it as well. So he knew you know that we were here and what kind of shape we were in. But he ended up buying the home at a she actually lost it was a, she sold it to him for half less than half of what it was worth um the hope program tell me a little bit about that what is the well you know it's uh was implement, implemented by roy cooper um and uh and basically it was to help people during the pandemic to pay uh, past due uh, utilities as well as rent uh, due to the moratoriums you know that were in place you know they did have that moratorium with the power as well um, and I forget when that ended but that's and it was to pay up to six months of rent for us it would have made us we would have been in good shape until the end of uh, May, I think. April April yeah and it would have been in We'd have been in good shape until April, until the 1st of April, if she had agreed to take the money for us. Well, what time did she reject that? It was back in November. November. Back in November? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you just, you had enough money, I guess, you, you'd stopped working for that time and couldn't quite come back, but you had enough money, I guess, saved up. Every, to, for every single red penny of the stimulus checks that we got, we paid our rent. Right. And the our previous st stimulus checks. Yep. Yeah. So all Every your stimulus money thing. has gone to rent. Yep. Yeah. So far. It did, yeah. Um, yeah. Except for well, that six hundred that came didn't because she wouldn't Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was the, the so the second stimulus we weren't able to. But I, her truck had broken down and we had to get it fixed. Because uh, he was still looking for work, actively, you know, looking for work and hoping that he could find something. So you've been in